Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a little more decluttering and we're gonna look through my collection and today we are doing liquid lipsticks. I love a good liquid lipstick. I know I'm wearing gloss today, go figure, but I do really love liquid lipsticks. It's one of my favorite things to wear. It's just easy. You know, if I know the formula and I can trust the formula, it's something I can put on at the beginning of the day. And as I'm running around with my daughter, I don't have to think about it. You know, I can wear it on date night and I don't have to worry about it transferring onto my husband. Again, depending on the formula. So I have a couple different formulas that I like and some I don't like quite as much, but you'll see when you, you know, take a look in my collection. I definitely swatched some for you. You can see my hand is stained a little bit from that, but I wanted to show you some of the colors because there are some really pretty ones. Definitely let me know if there's a formula that I don't have that you really think I should try. I'm always looking for new liquid lipsticks, whether it's from the drugstore or high end. I just love trying new ones, as you'll see as some of the, the new ones that I have gotten recently. If you want to see my collection of liquid lipsticks and see me declutter a little bit, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's get started with my liquid lipsticks. I know I have a ton, but it is one of my favorite things to wear and I have a bunch of formulas that I am a big fan of. So you can kind of see like, those are my dose of colors up there. That's just my favorite formula of all time. We'll get to that in a second, but let's just kind of work our way up. We'll, we'll tackle the dose of colors last. So these are my Lime Crime Velveteens. I know some people don't want to buy Lime Crime. That's totally up to you. I, I you know, Stephanie Nicole has a really good video on this. I would recommend watching that. You know, I think that a lot of people just sort of went on the bandwagon with Lime Crime and you can kind of make up your own, you know, mind about this, but I really love their Velveteens. They're now actually sold online at Ulta, so you can get them there if you, and especially if you feel uncomfortable buying from their website, you can buy them that way. I have um, a bunch here. I, I This is one of my favorite formulas though. It's the most long lasting. It's definitely drying. So if you're not a fan of that, you won't like these. But if you like a super long lasting liquid lipstick, this is really the best. So I have the shades from this side. Rustic, Teddy Bear, Pumpkin, Red Velvet, Cashmere, and Beat It. Cashmere was kind of like their very popular shade from the beginning. It's sort of a grayish color and it is really, really beautiful. I have to sort of have the, the right eye look for it though. Pumpkin is like the best for the fall. I just love that. They're all really beautiful, super opaque, gorgeous. So I definitely am not getting rid of any of these. In fact, I really would like to get some more like basic nude shades because I mean, who can't use more basic nude shades. And you know, I love this formula, so I kind of feel like I need an everyday nude <laughs> in this formula. So at the bottom here, I have my ColourPop, and I think that these are all ultra satins, maybe? Because I think that I decluttered all of my matte ones. Um, the thing about these ColourPop ones is they, and, and I'm talking about the, you know, the matte ones and these satin ones, the formula just doesn't last super long. So you get less product and so you're paying less, which is great, but they definitely go bad way quicker than any of my other lipsticks do. So that's the thing. Now, the Ultra Satin is actually not my favorite formula. I know there are a lot of people who love this formula because they don't like the super matte lip. These are definitely a liquid lipstick. They sort of, like they don't totally stay wet. They definitely dry down to a degree. They're just a long lasting liquid lipstick. They don't dry down completely. So if you like that, then you'll love these. Again, don't buy too many of them. And especially if you have a big collection like I do, it's really hard to go through something like this because they do go bad really quickly. So I just want to see if these are still good. Now, I know that the shade November, this one right here, this was a collab with Kathleen Lights. I know this one is still good because this is really, really new to me. I've only worn this a couple times actually because this came with a collection of nail polishes that I got from KL Polish because she did a whole lips and tips collection. So they were sort of you know inspired by these lippies that she created with ColourPop. So this is one that came with my little set of nail polishes and it is really pretty, I like it. Again, this isn't like my favorite formula, but as far as like this kind of color, it works well. And I know this one is new and I do like it, so I'm gonna keep this one. This one is this, the shade Little Stitches and this was really popular. So you can see like it's already starting to kind of separate a little bit, like it smells fine. Let's see kind of how the formula looks. Um, see, it still looks like it's okay, but it's definitely like it, it's heading there. 
but I do really like this color. It's a really pretty like cool tone nude. So I am gonna keep this. I just need to kind of put it in a pile to use it more. These things, I'm telling you, they expire so, so quickly. The shade right here is the shade Brooklyn. It's really, really pretty. Um, I do feel like, yeah, it's so, so pretty though. But I feel like if I'm gonna wear a shade like this, I'm gonna want it to be a little more of a dry down kind of formula. So I do think I'm gonna see if one of my friends or family wants this shade, because it's really, really pretty. All right, so then I have these two right here. This one is in the shade Molly. I totally forgot that I had this one. Ugh, it's terrible, I know. Um, this is a little more of like a purple shade. It's really pretty. Again, I'm probably not gonna pull for this shade if I'm gonna wear uh, you know, that kind of color. Although it's not super dark, but I also have two other purples that I like better that are more of a matte formula and I don't wear purples a whole lot. So if I'm going to, it's going to be the other two that I have, which I'll get to in a little while. So I think I'm going to pass this one on too. This one though, I think I am going to keep because it's such a beautiful, unique shade. It's this bright pink with a blue shift. Oh my God. This is the shade The Rabbit. And I mean... I wish that, you know, one of my favorite formulas had this color because it's such a beautiful color. That was like a really bad swatch there, but um, the color's beautiful. So I kind of have to keep it for that reason, but I don't wear it maybe as much as I would, you know. So in this row, I have some singles, I have some duos, like ones that I don't have a ton in lots of formulas. Same with a few of these up here. You know, I have so many dose of colors that, you know, I often don't get that many in other formulas because dose of colors is just like my favorite. So. I just have kind of some singles and other formulas that I am trying out or that, you know, I found that I like. This one here is kind of a weird thing. I wasn't sure if I was going to include this in this video, but I do feel, oh, I got a little bit on my nail there. I do feel like this is really the best video for it. This is a velvet lip glide from NARS. This is in the shade Bound. People were talking about these and it really is a very interesting formula. The color's really pretty. It sort of goes on you know, pretty glossy and it's definitely like a lipstick, but you know, the shine kind of goes away. It sort of stains your lips. So it is kind of nice. It's a fairly natural kind of lip color. So I don't know if I'd go for something in like a darker shade, but a shade like this works well. I don't know if I'd repurchase something like this, but I am going to keep it and I do enjoy using it. This one is brand, brand new. Like I literally bought this today. I mean, you're not seeing this on the day that I'm filming this, but I bought this today. This is one of the Palladio, Palladio, is it Palladio? Palladio and Casey Holmes collab. She came out with three liquid lipsticks with Palladio. They're sold at Sally Beauty. They used to be sold at Ulta, but they're not anymore. So that's kind of a shame, but they have them at Sally's. And so I just picked one because I don't know the formula and I, you know, the other two were pretty, but I don't know, this one was more unique to me. It's sort of a peachy nude color and it looked really pretty. So I'm definitely gonna keep this because I just got it today. I literally have not tried it yet. So hopefully I'll like this. Oh, by the way, this is the shade Georgia. I'm gonna swatch this for you just because I haven't even seen it yet. So let's see what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I like that color. I'm excited about that. That's very, very pretty. Well, I wonder if this is similar to the shade in ColourPop, that November shade. Let's compare these two. Ooh, pretty similar actually, pretty close. Different formulas though. Apparently this Palladio one dries down totally matte and this ColourPop one does not. So. Ooh, they are really, really close though. So I think that I'm, I might still keep November, but I'm gonna put it in my pile and just see if somebody else wants it. If not, then I'll just kind of put it back in my collection, but they are very, very similar. Obviously you can tell that November is just a tad bit darker, a little more pinky as well, but they are similar enough that I think because this isn't my absolute favorite formula and it's pretty new, I'm gonna see if you know anybody wants this one. This one right here is another one that is pretty new to me. I've heard really good things about these liquid lipsticks. This is Pixie by Petra in the shade Pastel Petal. They Pixie is sold at Target and they are a little bit pricier for a drugstore brand, but not you know a high end price. And I've only tried this once because again, it's really, really new to me, but I did like it. I need to keep trying it, but I like the shape of the applicator. It makes it really easy to get a crisp line. And this is a great nudie color. Like that is the perfect nude for me. So I really do like this one, at least for the shade. And I did like it the first time I used it, but I need to keep trying it. These two also very new to me. I know I'm, I just love liquid lipstick. So I'm constantly wanting to try new ones now. The real reason why I bought these was, be well, for two reasons. First of all, I have a good friend who loves this formula and always is telling me about it, so I definitely wanted to try it. And the only reason I bought two is because Ulta 
was having a sale on these during the 21 Days of Beauty, and so they were pretty much half off. So I was able to get two for the price of one, basically. And so that's why I got two. Otherwise, I probably would have just gotten one. This one is in the shade Sellout. I'm always looking at the bottom. It's not on the bottom, it's on the back. But So this is the one Sellout, and this is the one Bend and Snap. I knew that I wanted to get a pretty nude, and I wanted to get a darker, more fun color. And I love these both. I've worn this one more just because this is like, a, you know, an easy nude color. I love this shade though. This is a great nude and this formula is really nice. It, this is such a pretty color. I love this color and it lasts really well. Like if, you know, if it fades a little bit in the center, it fades pretty gracefully and it does last super, super well if you're careful. I do really like that one a lot. This one is such a beautiful color, but this is Bend and Snap again. And oh, I actually don't have anything like this in my collection. I don't have this color. I thought maybe that I, I did and I was kind of comparing it to different things and I really don't. So I'm glad that I got this one because it's a beautiful color. You can see that there. Just a stunning, stunning color and uh, I'm really enjoying this formula so far. If you don't like a super matte liquid lipstick, then you won't like these. But if you like a long lasting one, this is a good one. It's not totally transfer proof by the way, but pretty much. Okay, a couple other new ones to me. This one is by Flower Beauty. This is their, what do they call these? The Miracle Matte Lip in the shade Nude Blush. This is weird. I, w I only tried this once so far and I haven't worn it since because it was pretty weird. I don't really know how I feel about this yet. I, I don't know enough to like get rid of it because I do want to really continue trying it. But it was definitely weird. Like I've never felt anything like this going on. It feels super like wet and cooling. And then it does dry down. I mean, the color is really pretty. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. I've been loving Flower Beauty products in general. So I was excited to try this. But this is a very strange formula. So I kind of... I need to keep trying this and figure out how I feel about this. So far, I do like their other lip products better, but I am gonna keep trying this one. And then the other only like super new one to me is this one by Bare Minerals. This I got as well during the 21 Days of Beauty, so I got a really good deal on this. Again, probably half off or something like that. This one is in the shade Juju, so I kind of had to get this one, although I do really like the color, so I got lucky there, but Juju is a nickname that I some people give me. Now, the thing about this formula, first of all, it smells really delicious. It smells like like mint chocolate, kind of. I don't really know how to describe. I'm so bad at describing stuff, but that's kind of how it smells is like sort of mint chocolate. And the color, really, really beautiful. I like this color quite a bit. You can see it's not like as opaque as some of the others, but that's okay because honestly, this is, it's more like the Ultra Satins than it is like some of these other liquid lipsticks that I'm talking about. It's long lasting but it doesn't totally dry down. So I don't mind that sometimes. It's not necessarily my favorite. I don't think that I would buy like multiples of these, but for certain occasions, this is really nice and it's very, very comfortable. So definitely is not drying on your lips. So far I am liking it. It's just not necessarily what I'd pull for if I want something to last, you know, or, or be transfer proof. It does last quite well. All right, so these two here, I kind of think that I'm gonna get rid of both of these. These are the Milani Amore Metallics lip creams. So they're liquid lipsticks that are metallic. This one here, I don't know when I would ever wear this. I mean, if anything, I'd mix it with something else, but then I have other like either lip toppers or whatever. It's really pretty. I mean, that's intense, you know? I do think that the formula is maybe kind of separating too, but it's really pretty, but like when am I gonna wear that? I mean, maybe I wear it for like a video, but like in real life, probably not. So I do think I'm gonna pass this one on. I'm gonna see what this kind of feels like when it dries, but I think it might be kind of gone bad. It smells okay, but um, I don't know. I'll have to see how this, how this is, if the formula is all right before I can like pass it on to somebody else, but otherwise it just will need to kind of go in the trash, unfortunately, but this one here I have worn out a couple times. It, by the way, this one was Chromatic Addict. This one is Automatic Touch. And this one I have worn. I mean, it in certain, you know, makeup looks, it will look pretty. You know, it is the kind of thing that, you know, you might want to just sort of focus on the lips. It's really pretty because this one is a little less like bam metallic. It just sort of has that metallic shine to it. I just don't think that I'm gonna use it as much as it should be used, you know, for it being in my collection. I'm just not gonna pull for a metallic lip so much. And if I want something to be sort of metallic, I can either use a lip topper 
or a gloss or something like that. So I think I am going to pass this one on. This one here is by Ofra. I did have some of the Kathleen Lights ones and I had another one and they just sort of went bad and I loved those when I had them. Again, this is one where it is very long lasting, <laughs> long lasting liquid lipstick, how about that? This is in the shade Manhattan, by the way. It definitely is long lasting, however, it's not totally transfer proof and you know, a color you know that's super dark, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. This is a really pretty color though. And I do like the formula. Ooh, I think this one has kind of gone bad though. This is very dry. This is supposed to be a little more like, you know, liquidy. So I think this, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this formula goes bad really quickly too because I don't know. I don't feel like I've had these as long as some of my other ones that are still good. So, I mean, it's a really pretty color. You can see I do really like this color, but um, it, it seems like it's kind of gone bad on me. So I think I am going to toss this one. All right, then I have one by Anastasia. And I bought this one because it's a really unique color. So I actually really thought that I was going to get rid of this. I actually just wore this recently because I hadn't worn it in so long and I needed to kind of see how I felt about it. This is in the shade Sad Girl. And for some reason, you can't seem to get this at Sephora Ulta anymore. It seems like only Macy's has this. I don't know if that was always the case. I know that I did actually originally get this at Macy's, like when Anastasia was first being sold at Macy's. I've had this one a long time. The formula was fine because I just wore it. It's a really pretty color. You can kind of see that, you know, metallicness that it has to it. So there you go. So that's a little bit of a shine, but it's a little less intense. It's definitely a very dark color though, so I don't get a ton of use out of this because it's so dark. But I am going to keep this just because it is a really pretty color. It's very unique to my collection and I only have this one from Anastasia. I do like their formula. I don't know that I'm that drawn to buying more of their, you know, colors. They do have really pretty colors, but I just don't think that I like this formula quite as much as the Dose of Colors one or the Lime Crime one and this is kind of along those same lines. So I am gonna keep this one, but once it goes bad, I don't think that I would repurchase this shade or others from them. So these are my three Stila ones. I used to really love this formula, now so-so. It's just not my absolute favorite, but it's not bad. Now this one here, you can see that there's a lot being used up. This is in the shade Patina. This is a great color. They also sell this color at a lot of brands though. So it's not like a super unique color, but it is really, really pretty. This is in my Project Pan for 2018. You can see that I'm doing pretty well in there. It's, it's hard to tell with some of these liquid lipsticks how well you're doing it. It is really hard to use one of these up before they go bad, but I'm really, really trying. It's get, I'm getting there. I'm definitely doing really well with it, but obviously I'm going to keep it because it's in my project. This shade, I don't get a ton of use out of. It's in the shade Como, but it is a beautiful purple color. And I definitely love to pull this out and wear this sometimes. It is just such a fun color. Sometimes I mix it um, with other things and it's just so fun, I love it. So I am going to keep this one and uh, you know, I'll definitely get more use out of it in the summer too. This shade though, I think I am going to pass on. I did like this for a time. I wore this quite a bit like a while back. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just sort of a, a little bit of a boring color to be quite honest with you. It's not super opaque. It's in the shade Dolce, by the way. I don't know, it's it's just okay. It's a very light kind of nudie brown color. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's like too subtle that you don't even notice it when you have it on. And it's just kind of, it's not what I wanna pull for. So I'm gonna pass this one on. All right, so these two are exactly the same. <laughs> um, this is the Sephora cream lip stain in 01 always red and then this is just a little mini one this is very very old so I'm pretty sure that this has gone bad this was like this may have been like the very first liquid lipstick that I ever bought it smells okay but something tells me the formula is probably off and since I have this little guy I'll be able to use this one up much quicker than I will this one I do love red lips I just don't wear them all the time so this one is just very old, so I think I'm gonna toss it. And then I have this little guy, so I can just use this, and that's a little more doable, you know, for something in this color. I do really love the Sephora formula, though, by the way. They're a good price, and they have really pretty colors. I think they've extended their range, and they last really, really well, so they are really nice. And actually, they have a color that's called Marvelous Mose, I think, and it's pretty a pretty close dupe for the Stila Patina, in case you were wondering and wanted to get something less expensive than the Stila one. Now these are my 
Too Faced Melted lipsticks. These are not the melted mattes, so these are different. These came out originally. This was like sort of before the big like matte liquid lipstick trend. So these are a little more like the, the satin lips from ColourPop. They definitely, you know, they're a liquid lipstick, but it's, you know, they don't dry down. They're not transfer proof. But I do like them in more nudie shades like this. This one I really like. This is the first one I ever got. This is in Melted Nude. It's a very, you know, kind of peachy brownie nude. And I do really, really like this. I do enjoy the formula. It's, you know, again, it's not like a matte liquid lipstick, but sometimes that's okay. And I do really like this. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is Melted Chihuahua. This is a gorgeous color. I love this one. I actually have a mini of this one too that I don't know if it was a point perk or what it was, but I really love this color. So, so pretty. Definitely gonna keep that one. And this one was like a, a free gift or something. This is Melted Peony. This one though, I don't get a lot of use out of. It's very, very pink. And it's just not something that I pull for a whole lot. So I think I am going to pass this one on. Now these are my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I do really, really like this formula. This is the first one I ever got. This is the classic Lolita. You know, this is one where there were so many versions of this, so I don't even know what version I got, but I do really enjoy this. It's a really, really pretty one. I mean, look at that. You know, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, so definitely not getting rid of that. And this color I don't wear a whole lot, but it is so, so beautiful. And I compared it recently to that new Too Faced one because I thought maybe they were similar, but you can see how different they are. This is in the shade Bachelorette. Look how gorgeous that is. I really need more of these Kat Von D ones. I just love these and I just forget how good these are. Just gorgeous, so I'm definitely keeping that. And this is a little mini that I got. I don't remember if this was a point perk, something like that, it must have been. This is in the shade Lovesick and this is a beautiful one too. I love getting minis like this because you get a lot of product and you know it's hard to go through these, especially if you have a lot of them. So, so pretty, I love that color. So definitely not getting rid of these and the next time I buy some liquid lipsticks that are high end, I'm definitely gonna get some more of these because I love this formula. Definitely drying, you know, the, so if you don't like that, you won't like those, but I, I love that formula. All right, we're getting closer. My hand's getting really uh, stained over here a little bit, but we're, we're getting close. So these are my two and only two by Makeup Monsters. This is an indie brand, I believe. I heard about this brand from Stephanie Nicole originally. If you don't watch Stephanie Nicole, by the way, you need to. She's also obsessed with Dose of Color. But I tried these because I had heard from her. They have a lot of really fun, like crazy colors if you're into that sort of thing, but obviously I'm um, not as much. So I got some of the nudie colors. This one is in the shade Sedona. This is one of their really popular ones. And it's got that really great applicator that's super easy to use, but this is such a great nudie color. And I know I have other things like it, but it's a great formula, it's a great color. I love it. So definitely gonna be keeping that one. And this one I will definitely be keeping as well. This one was so weird. This is called Pedal to the Metal. And I think I should have read more on this because I was kind of confused by it when I first put it on because it's sort of like a metallic one, but a little more subtle than the other one. And it's a really, really pretty color. It needs to be built up a little bit more than their other one. So I can't say that I like this as much as like just the original one. But what was weird about this was I put this on and I was like, okay, it's a little bit shimmery, whatever. But when you when it dries, then you kind of mush your lips together and that's when the glitter kind of really comes out. And I was I was thrown off by that. I really didn't know that that was way, the way that it worked. I should have done more research, obviously, but, um, but I do really like this formula. I would look into getting more of theirs in the future. I just don't really need any right now, obviously, but these are a great formula if you're looking to support a great indie brand. Now my dose of colors. I know I have like a million of these, but it's my favorite. I love it. I have almost their entire range. I don't have everything because uh, they've come out with more since I bought all of these and I just haven't, you know, I like to buy them when they're on sale to be quite honest. I, you know, they're not horribly expensive. I th think that they're 18. I still like to get them on sale because they are expensive, but they are my favorite, so I love getting them. And I will say that there are some shades that are not my favorite and that when they run out, I won't repurchase. However, I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. But I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I don't think the formula is quite as good so that maybe you can avoid them. I'll talk about a couple of my favorites, but I'm, I don't need to go through all of these because 
I mean, you can look online and see all their colors. I have so many. So let me show you a few that I wouldn't repurchase. And, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna get rid of them now because I, I just love all of these. And, and I do tend to mix them, by the way. If you find that there's a shade that you get that ends up being too light for you or you don't like with your skin tone, just mix it with something else. You can either mix it on the back of your hand and then put it on like that. Or what I like to do is just kind of like put one on and while it's still wet, put the other one on and kind of mush my lips together. And you can kind of adjust the shade just a little bit. So I do that sometimes for sure. But I will say that these from their mint collection, these aren't my favorite. Um, the first one that I have here is in the shade, oh my gosh, Excitement. And then the other one is Minty. They're really pretty colors. They're just not my absolute favorite. I find that they're just a little streaky. This is not the most flattering shade on me. Actually, they both really aren't so much. Um, I probably like this one in Minty better, but I don't know that I would repurchase either of these. They're just not my absolute favorite. This is my other really purple lipstick that I have. This is so awesome. It's really fun. It's a little more of like a blue purple. Ugh just a gorgeous royal purple, just, uh, it's it's just stunning. I, I don't wear it a ton, but it is beautiful. I, I really do love this. This is a kind of newer one to me, Talk is Chic, and this is stunning. This is definitely one of my new favorites. I love that one. And the newer one that was also around the same time that that one came out, Sweet and Sassy, and I don't love this one either. I think with some of these sort of like pastel-y colors, they can be just a little bit streaky. And so I tend to mix this one. I don't really wear it on its own, so I wouldn't repurchase this one. Now, some of my favorites, Kiss of Fire is a gorgeous red. Um, just a beautiful pinky red. Stunning, stunning color. I, I love this one. Definitely one of my absolute favorites. You know, if I want a bold lip, this is such a flattering color. Also, another bold one, this Pinky Promise is such a beautiful hot pink. So flattering, just a beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, I don't wear that kind of color all the time, but it is so vibrant and gorgeous. Stone is certainly one of my absolute favorites. I've talked about that one because it's in my my throwback Thursday because the formula on that one is getting a little bit old because I've had that one for such a long time. That's definitely one that I would repurchase because it's just a classic. I love it. I just need to use that one up because the formula is starting to go. That was the first one I ever, ever bought. And I thought that one was my absolute favorite, like my perfect nude. But I actually think that Truffle is my perfect nude in the Dose of Colors formula. I love the shade Truffle. This one is such a great color for me. It's just, you know, it's an everyday color for me. And I, I really do love it. You know, it's, it's definitely quite a bit of a nude. But really flattering and I love this one. I mean, so many great colors to choose from. You can just find pretty much anything. They've really expanded their range ever since I first bought Stone from them. They just, I mean, they used to have like eight shades. I mean, like something crazy small. So they really have gotten uh, a lot more color since then. You can see how much those Dose of Colors ones stain. They last super, super well. All right, everyone, so that is it for my liquid lipstick collection and declutter. I hope that you enjoyed getting a little peek into my collection and seeing some of the things that I'm getting rid of. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. If you are not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around, and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.